During this session, we will be using illustrations on the screen to show the physical equipment necessary to perform the required tasks. Each instrument is accompanied by a black box that contains calibration standards, data, and apertures. These standards are unique to the instrument and are identified with the instrument's serial number. In order to set the instrument, insert the calibration CD into the drive of your computer. Choose the instrument pull-down menu and click on Instrument Setup. In the measurement main window, choose the instrument model followed by the communication port it is attached to, then input the serial number for the instrument. Afterwards, click Save Setup button. At this time, find the drive that the calibration disk is inserted into. It is important to select both files and press the Open button. This concludes instrument setup. This will need to be done whenever a different instrument is attached to the system. The system automatically opens the calibration screen. Select the desired calibration options for your instrument and click Calibrate. Place the black trap pictured here on the instrument with the opening of the trap lined up with the opening of the spectrophotometer. Press Ready. When prompted, place the white calibration standard against the instrument and press Ready. We are measuring a real instrument in real time on this demonstration. Do the same with the green tile. When the measurement is complete, the results of the diagnostic tile will be displayed. The decision should be Pass. Click OK to close the screen. Once calibration is complete, the system will return to the main measurement window. Notice there are options available to change the instrument settings. You may change the specular component to be included, excluded, or gloss. You can change the aperture size depending on what size aperture you're using, as well as whether the instrument will be measuring in transmittance or not. You may change the number of flashes that the instrument flashes per read. the percent of UV, and whether or not you are using a UV cutoff filter. Tabs are also available for further configuration such as choosing options for single and multiple measurements. Please refer to your online manual for further details.